Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're going to be talking about the direct drive friction welding process. We accelerate the rotating component up to a desired weld speed and we maintain that weld speed throughout most of the process. We bring on a low friction force to begin with in order to generate a little bit of heat at the weld interface. This decreases the coefficient of friction and ensures that we don't stall the motor due to excessive torque. After a certain amount of time, we bring on a second friction forge force, which is a little bit higher. This is enough to generate heat at the weld interface to soften the material and start creating some upset. Once we've had a certain amount of upset from the part, we decrease our energy input, we break the spindle down to zero speed, and we bring on the full forge load needed to make the weld. At this point, the, all of the soft material that's at the weld line extrudes out as upset. We get to our final upset amount. We maintain that forge force for a certain amount of time to get a little bit of part cooling, and then the weld is complete. Direct drive friction welding is the oldest form of rotary friction welding, and it can be used to join a variety of part geometries and materials, making a solid state joint with high quality. As a leader in friction welding processes, we're proud to introduce the new Spartan line of direct drive friction welding machines. These machines, in four standard sizes, offer high quality, consistent welds, are cost effective, they're just right for any size budget, and provide the cutting edge automation needed by today's automotive industry. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MCI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. If you would like to learn more about our Spartan line or other friction welding solutions, click here or visit mtiwelding.com.